Hi, good morning, my friends. Welcome back to another video. Happy New Year, wishing you all the best for 2024. If you've been following me on Instagram, then you definitely know what's in this box. This was a Christmas present from Oxbeam. So in this video, we're gonna be installing it on the chimney. So let's unbox this. On the inside, we have instruction manual, sticker, Oxbeam sticker. Then we have the two four inch LED pod lights. It also comes with Oxbeam covers for the pod lights. And lastly, we have a complete wiring harness. So a little bit about these lights, I have this spec sheet here. These are four inch LED pod lights. They have a 300K amber flood light beam pattern. Each of them is 30 watts and 3000 lumens. So both of them would have 60 watts and 6000 lumens. They're composed of die cast aluminum and they have an IP68 waterproof rating. These go at $105.99 US on the website, but they're currently on sale. You can also use my discount code ZAF to get 12% off any Oxbeam product that costs more than $29.99 US. So let's install these. I'm planning to mount these on the bumper like this so they can act as fog lights. So in order to do that, we need to drill two holes on the bumper and offer them up. We have the lights mounted on the bumper, but we only have one problem. This bumper, not very secure. It's only held on by two fasteners under the bonnet, and I don't want this light to be shaken when I'm on the trails. So what I'm gonna do is remove the bumper and make a bracket that goes inside the bumper to mount the light on that instead. And that would be more secure. So I made these two brackets from some zinc sheet. One gonna go on this side, one gonna go on this side. I'm gonna attach this here with a rivet nut so it could be removable. And then I'll drill a hole from on top and we could mount our light onto this bracket instead. And everything gonna be inside the bumper so it's gonna be hidden. Alright, so we just sanded it, so I'm gonna hit it with some epoxy primer and then paint. So now that this dry, I'm gonna pour in some quarter by 20 rivet nut. If you want one of these rivet nut tool, you could check ABS Off-Road. They're supposed to have in stock. I'll put a link in the description. All right, so I went ahead and I give the brackets a little paint and um, they're looking nice and neat now and everything dried on the chimney. So let's mount back the lights on it. I just mount the lights, you could see it here, I run the wire through here and I made a little cut in the bumper so the wire could pass through and it's run behind the headlight and the connector is here, so same thing on the side, a little cut on the bumper there, a little notch and the connector is behind the headlight here. With respect to wiring, it's pretty straightforward, we have the relay, we're going to be mounting it on this stock screw right here, then we have red and black which goes directly to the battery following the harness 
we have the piece that goes inside the vehicle. So that's this here. This goes inside the vehicle through the firewall grommet right there. In order to do that, we will deepen this connector and fish it through there. Then following the harness again, we come back down to our two connectors, which we're going to connect to each of our lights. Let me just show you how to deepen one of these really quickly. So you want to unclip it and then you want to take a photo so you'll know the orientation of the wires. So with the tab up, blue goes in the middle, white goes to the right and black goes to the left. So once you take a photo of it like that, you want to get like a small precision screwdriver and there's a, a wide side and there's a small side. You just want to Stick that in there, in the small side, and press it, and pull out like that. So again, there's a wide side, and there's a small side, go in the small side, give it a little twist, and then pop it out. Small side, give it a twist, and pop it out. So now this is a lot easier to pass through the firewall than this clip. Right, so I took the three wires, taped them together onto this metal wire and I made like a smooth transition so this can go through the firewall really easy now. See how easy that was? We already have it on the inside, less than a minute. So now that we pull through the wire here, all we need to do is undo the tape and add back our connector. To connect it back, simple, with the tab up, blue goes in the middle, white goes to the right, and black goes to the left. Nice, and inside the cabin. finish install the lights check it out so harness goes to the battery relay then we go down inside to the switch and we come around here one connector here and the other one here all right and then the switch switch mounted here so if we turn it on You can see we have light. So that is a day until tonight when we can test them. I'm really happy with how they turned out. Huge thank you to Oxbeam for sending me these. Really, really love them. Can't wait to test them tonight. lights and this is with the pod lights on you can see it illuminates the road clearly it not just illuminates the road but also the sides so again just headlights no headlights only spotlights